the increasing and decreasing test for derivatives and look at an example to help illustrate my earlier video. Basically, quickly recap on increasing and decreasing tests. It's just it's pretty basic. It just states if the derivative is uh, greater than zero on an interval, then f is decreasing. I mean, is increasing on that interval. But if if f of x is or f prime of x or the derivative is less than zero on an interval, then that function is decreasing on that interval, and you could basically see it visually from here. If, it, if it's increasing, derivative is going to be zero, uh, greater than zero. If it's decreasing as over here, the derivative is less than zero. So now we'll go over this example, which just states, find where the function, or, I mean, where the following function, let's quickly uh, fix that, uh, is increasing and where it is decreasing. So this one right here, f of x equals 3x uh, to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 5. So now basically find this out. As you can see from this part here, there's an increasing and then decreasing uh, after there is a flat line right here because it's continuous. So you need to gradually change from it. So with this flat line, we can call this C. And like I showed in my earlier video based on Fermat's theorem, uh, this is a critical number and it basically is where it's a um, derivative is zero. So we have to compare, basically find the critical values. And I'll just uh, type that out here. You need to find the critical numbers where the derivative is zero or does not exist. But in this case, it's a continuous function. So the derivative is going to be basically, um, yeah, it's going to exist everywhere. So we just got to find where it's zero. So first thing we got to do is find the derivative of this. Let's write it here f prime of x is equal to, bring the 4 down using power rule, so 4 times 3 is 12, 12x cubed minus this one again, 3 times 4 is 12x squared. You can see proof of the derivative uh, power rule in the video links below, and bring this 2 down to 24x, and then you subtract the 1 on top. The derivative of 5 is just 0 because it's a constant. So now you have this part here, so now what we could do is, um, yeah, is before we set it to equal to zero, we could actually factor these out just to make it easier. Uh, basically, what we could do is f prime of x is equal to, we could divide, take the 12x out of there. That's a common uh, factor out, so 12x. So then we're going to have uh, basically 12, to 12, 12 divided by 12 is 1. We remove the x there, so we get x squared. We remove one of them, minus now x, just uh, power of 1. Now minus 12, uh, 24 divided by 12 is just 2, and the x is gone. So now we have this part here. This could be further factored out by using just uh, basic factoring properties of this. We need to find a number, two numbers, such that when you multiply by each other, it equals negative 2. And that's going to be actually uh, x minus 2. So negative 2 and x plus 1, these negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 and these add up to negative uh, 1 right here and you could even expand this out in your head or just do it right here this multiplied by this and this, this is going to be x squared plus x now added by this by the add, added uh, from this multiplied by this plus negative 2 times 1 we're going to get negative 2x minus 2 this, uh, this is just double check, it's right. You're going to get x squared. Now this is going to be a negative x minus 2. So as you can see, this is the factored right. And you can see more on factoring in the video links uh, below as well in the related video section. Uh, so basically we have this part here, or f prime of x is equal to, to these three uh, factors right here. So now we have to find out basically yeah, when it is zero so when we set it to zero we have zero is equal to 12x yeah times it by x minus 2 times by x plus 1 so this is equal to zero the derivative in three cases when this is zero so when x equals to zero or for x is equal to 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so it will be a 2 or when x is equal to negative 1 so if it's equal to negative 1 you're gonna have negative 1 plus 1 at 0 so these are the critical numbers and now in finding out whether it's increasing or decreasing, we have to basically write, uh, draw a table and write these as intervals. So I'll write interval here, interval. So we're going to have the first one's going to be when x is uh, less than negative 1. And then the next interval is going to be when x is uh, greater than negative 1. 
but less than zero. And then the third is x is basically in between all these um, critical numbers. x is less than two and greater than zero. And the last one, when x is greater than two. So now we have, uh, we could write if 12x is going to be positive or negative, because we want to find out what whether this is positive or negative uh, for this derivative, if it's increasing or decreasing. Yeah, and a useful trick is basically to break these up into factors, and now we could do these separately instead of actually having to plug in actual numbers inside this complicated function. So we can go 12x, now we have x minus 2. Yeah, and then, then x plus 1, and yeah, once we have x plus 1 here, we could do the overall f prime of x, whether it's positive or negative, and then we could just write over here whether it's increasing or decreasing uh, for, for f of x. Let's write f of x here. So I'll show you what I mean. This is a useful trick my um, calculus book or a useful technique my book goes through. So basically, so when we look at when x is less than uh, negative 1, we plug it in any negative number here, number in 12x, we're going to get a negative. And now when we have less than negative 1 subtracted by 2, so like example, negative 3 minus 2, that's again going to be negative. And now this one here, this x, the absolute value of this uh, during this interval is greater than 1. So we're going to have, a, let's say, a negative 2 plus 1. That's still going to be negative. So negative times negative times negative, that's an odd number of negatives. So f, f prime of x is negative. So now it's decreasing in this section right here. So it's decreasing when x is less. Yeah, it's decreasing during this interval of uh, less than negative 1. So now the next part is when x is in between negative 1 and 0. So when we have this part um, for 12x, again, it's less than 0, so it be negative. For x minus 2, uh, since this, again, it's negative, minus another negative, this is going to be more negative, so negative. But now when we plus 1, the, abs one is bigger than the, the absolute value of 1 is bigger than, well, between zero, 0 and negative 1, because, for example, negative 0.5 plus 1, that's positive. So now there's going to be negative times a negative, that's a positive times positive, it's positive because there's an even number of uh, negatives. So now we're going to have a positive uh, this slope right here and based on the, uh, and once again based on increasing decreasing test because the slope, this is, the slope or the derivative is positive, this is increasing. Yeah, and I'll just write down increasing here. So it's increasing on the interval of x is uh, greater than negative 1 and less than 0. So the next interval is from 0 to 2. Again, this is positive, so 12 times positive number is positive. Now here, it's since there's uh, it's less than 2, so for example, 1 minus 2, that's going to be a negative. And now this one, there's positive plus a positive, that's going to be positive. So now there's odd number of, po of negatives, so that's going to be a negative or a decreasing. So it's decreasing during this interval from 0 to 2. And now the last one is basically when x is greater than 2, again, 12x positive. And then greater than 2 minus 2, for example, 3 minus 2, that's positive. And now anything greater than 2 plus 1, that's again not going to be positive. So now this is all just positive, the derivative. So now we're going to be increasing right here. So we have increasing from uh, basically what anything greater than 2. Yeah, so yeah, anything greater than 2 is increasing. And as you see, it goes from decreasing, increasing, decreasing, increasing. And if you were to roughly graph it, it will look something like you're going to have to go down like this. It's going to go back up, it's going to go back down, and then it's going to go back up. So basically, if you look at the critical numbers, it's going to be decreasing, increasing, decreasing, increasing. Yeah, and here I've graphed this uh, exact function. This is our f of x with Google Graphing Calculator. As you can see, at the critical number is negative 1, 0, and then there's a 2 right here. It's basically when the root of a 0, and there's a decreasing right here, or from basically from all the way negative infinity up to negative one we have a negative for the derivative and now we have an increasing derivative so from here negative one to zero that is a plus and now when we go from zero i mean it's a yeah it's a positive so when it goes zero to two right here it's decreasing so that's going to be a negative and then the final one we'll go from basically two all the way to infinity this is increasing our positive Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this video. And uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.